this carburetor back together. I took the uh, Stromberg two barrel all apart yesterday on this 305 V6 and uh, I put it in the chem dip. We'll open this up, rinse them off. Just pull these out of here and hopefully look better. Has it, been, put them in. has it been sitting about 24 hours? Or? No, it's probably more like 16 hours. It looks cleaner. We'll know when we rinse them off and pressure wash them with the air. We're going to pressure wash them. together in the right way. Stromberg WW Series 2 barrel for the 3L5. This rebuild kit was what? How much was it? 35 bucks. We got the carburetor on. Got it all back together. Yep, yeah, hopefully all the parts are in there and in the right place. We're almost ready to take it for a drive to see how it Explain that, uh, well, I guess you can't see it now, that adapter for the carburetor. It's a piece of PVC pipe. Schedule 40, 3 inch or 4 inch pipe. Oh. <laughs> to make an adapter to fit the, the filter housing. I'm going to pour some gas in. Okay, whoops. I think it's running better. Oh yeah. Your carburetor is sucking better. You hear that sucking sound? Yeah. So we got the wheels painted. Okay, so we got the trim rings on and the cinder caps. They look pretty good. Got the oil changed. Yep, we changed the oil. Here's the style filter head. It's like a canister style inside the housing. Really heavy duty.
start her up, see if she starts good. Start on the first try. Oh, better put it out of gear. That's good for the starter. Yeah, the wheels look pretty good. Huh? Place the rear end seal, pinion seal, on the the middle universal joint because there's a split drive shaft on this. Uh, so we did that. We rebuilt the carburetor. It's running pretty good. Got we, those rally rims on. We took the rally wheels off an '86 Chevy Suburban. You can leave a link to that video. With four by four center caps, really, it's a lowered four by four. Yeah. We'll get center caps that aren't 4x4 four by four, four by four later. Uh, we put a seat in it from an eight, or 91 Chevy pickup. Actually fits in there pretty good. It, the two front holes actually matched right up. Yeah, we just drilled one. Drilled the two rear holes. Mm -hmm. And we can still flip the seat forward to get to the gas tank if we have to work on the sending unit. This is just an old seat, but it actually these seats work pretty good in these old trucks. Yeah, a lot, mo lot more more comfortable. We put a plywood back here. Yeah, we stuck a piece of plywood in just to cover up the holes in the box. Next thing that we're going to work on is probably a couple of tie rod ends. Yeah, that's yeah, that's not very good. So we're kind of a little scared of that. We don't want to go down the road with tie rod ends and fall off. We should get that fixed. <coughs> And after that, we'll start working on the body. Trying to we'll take the hood off and try and pound up a lot of these dents. Take the fender off, pound that out. The door, I don't think, is rescuable. I don't think we can do anything with it. It's pretty, it's pretty beat up. The box, I think we can get a lot of the dents out of that. The roof is bad shape. The roof is, I don't know. It's, it's been hit so hard that it's dented actually on the inside. It's pushed in on the inside. Yeah. So it's been hit hard, but surprisingly it doesn't leak. And we're going to replace the mirrors. Get some better mirrors on it. Little by little, the old girl is... Uh, but those paint job turned out pretty good, just with spray cheap, cans. Cheap Walmart, 98 cent a can paint. And we'll, we'll get our steam cleaner uh, running. We got a steam cleaner. We're gonna do some work on, and we be able to clean up the engines a lot nicer with it, and get them painted, get a lot of this grease off. Scrape first, and then or steam clean. Yep. So that's it for this video. That's it for this one. Till next time. See you later. See you later. <laughs>